Today we're talking about Ever Given, a 1,312 foot long container ship that's nearly as long as the Empire State Building is tall. The 220 ton ship was grounded at the Suez Canal for six days. So why are we talking about this? Well, there are claims that indicate the blockage caused the global economy to lose $400 million an hour. Yeah, so let's verify. Could the grounding of Ever Given have caused the economy to lose $400 million an hour? Our sources, Paul Hong, Distinguished University Professor of Global Supply Chain Management and Asian Studies at the University of Toledo, and Lisa Anderson, founder and president of LMA Consulting Group, a supply chain consulting company. The supply chain was already out of alignment. So now that we have the Suez Canal, it pretty much means that it's gotten even more out of alignment. First, let's talk about how much trade goes through the Suez Canal daily. It is about $10 million worth of trade that actually flow through daily. And Anderson agrees. A little quick math actually gets us to $416 million an hour of total global trade halted during the grounding of Ever Given. So we can verify that this claim is true, but actually underestimates the amount of total global trade lost per hour. So what about these claims that toilet paper and coffee will be in short supply because of Ever Given? Well, according to both Anderson and Hong, that's false. People think that toilet papers are coming from China mainly, but I think toilet paper is primarily from Canada and Mexico. So toilet paper would not be that effective. Anderson agrees that toilet paper won't be impacted like it was during the beginning of the pandemic. Toilet paper was more of a panic buy, so people aren't going to necessarily do a panic buy over the missing materials. According to Hong, 10% of the total coffee trade comes through the Suez Canal, so he says that industry could be slightly impacted. The impact of a coffee is really good there, but it may not be huge. Over the last few months, Anderson says manufacturing and shipping costs have increased across multiple industries, so any increase in coffee price will likely have more to do with those than the grounding of Ever Given at the Suez Canal. They've been absorbing some of, some of it, but they're also starting to pass them on to consumers. And I think that uh, for sure it will, it is likely to lead to some inflation um, over time for sure. So we can verify, yes, the claim about the grounding of Ever Given costing the global economy approximately $400 million an hour is true. But there's no need to worry that toilet paper will be out of stock, and unless your favorite coffee comes from Vietnam or Indonesia, you're in the clear as well. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Day Till.